Well, hello, everyone. This is Amber Townkey, and your terrific Tuesday, Million Dollar Messenger, calling you from the greater Dallas, Oregon area. <laughs> yes, I said Dallas, Oregon um, area. Actually, here working with one of my new consultants and uh, staying with my mom in her new house. So um, I, it's been quite the whirlwind. I think if you have followed my journey, I went from Tennessee to Oklahoma. No, I went from Dallas to Tennessee to Oklahoma, back home to Arizona, to Walla Walla, Washington, to Oregon. <laughs> so just, you know, no, you can work wherever you're at as long as you do the things you know you need to do when you need to do them. So with that being said, something that was shared, uh, I just was listening uh, last night and I actually wrote it down because I'm like, you know what, that is so good. I believe it was Rowan Rains. Um, I'm not even quite sure who that person is, but this is what he shared and I thought it would bless you guys today um, to start your terrific Tuesday. But if, imagine this, just imagine this, that you had $86,400 in your bank account and someone stole $10 from you. Would you be upset about it? Would you throw away the remaining 86390 Would you throw that away, the 86390 in hopes of getting back at the person that took the $10? No, you wouldn't. You would move on and live, correct? Well, of course, this is every single person has 86,400 seconds in a day. Each day, you have 86,400 seconds in a day. Don't let somebody's negative 10 seconds ruin the 86,390 remaining minutes or uh, yeah, seconds in that day. But so many times we do this is that we allow somebody's negative, negative, negative to affect our whole entire day. Don't throw it away. If you treat it like dollars, you have $86,400 of seconds in your day. Don't let somebody's negative 10 seconds cause you to throw away the 86,390 remaining. Whether that's what's remaining or it's less or more, do not give them that power. And these things, I actually wrote this down the other day, and I'm like, oh, I think I want to share this on the Million Dollar Message. Three things to stop regretting, or stop, to stop, sorry, to just stop in general. You know, a lot of times we talk about what you need to do to get move forward, but sometimes we don't talk about what you need to stop doing. And this was perfect. And I think sometimes we add, add, add to our brain of all the things we're doing, but we fail to sit back and say, okay, what can I remove? What can I stop doing? And so these are three things to stop doing today. One is regret in the past. Don't forget it. Definitely don't forget it. Learn from it, but don't let it hold you back. Stop regretting the past and better yet move forward in a better direction from it. Number two, stop worrying about the future. Oh, goodness. I think right now it's such a good time to be reminded about that is to stop worrying about the future. 85% of what you are daily, psychologists have this down, 85% of what you worry about daily will never happen. 85% of what you worry about daily will never happen. And so that is just a waste of energy. It's a waste of your time. And boy, oh boy, have I learned that when I um, had a daughter in treatment um, and literally my oldest daughter and had two years of having to get on meetings every week and work with the team that was working with her and all the things, all the, you know, worrying about, you know, will she recover out of this? Will she, um, will her life be better? Will she hate me? And I just learned, I'm like, you know what? God only knows. God only knows. And I believe there's a Christian song that God only knows. And it is so true. He is the holder, the keeper of your future. And the enemy only knows your past. So if it's your past that is haunting you, hold assure, like just rest assured that God is the one that knows your future. So the enemy is never going to use your future to try to torment you, to try to say, well, you're not good enough. He's never going to use your future because he doesn't know your future. Only God knows your future. And so to stop worrying about it because it's already in good hands. <laughs> And number three, stop looking for happiness in other people. It is impossible for other people to make you happy. 
Happiness is 100% an inside job. So stop looking to other people. Stop allowing other people to affect your happiness. You may get down for a second, but then you have to understand you have 86,400 seconds in your day. And just because they stole a few of them doesn't mean that you throw away the remaining seconds of your day. This life we live once. I know I say it all the time. It is not a dress rehearsal. It is a real deal. Spend time with people who want to be around with you. Around you. Spend time with people that appreciate you and that you appreciate them. Spend time around people with, that are aligned with you that you know you don't have to work hard at the relationship and trust that you are enough. And if God needed you to be any more today, he would have made you more today. But you are enough for your tasks at hand today. So either way, hopefully this is a blessing for you today. This is Amber Town Gian, your terrific Tuesday Million Dollar Messenger, signing off. Have an amazing Tuesday.